So I have a document up in here that's called cycletour.psd, which you can find from the working folder. And the intent for the next few exercises is to export this for use on screen and on the web. Now, before we even get to those processes, we really need to indicate some kind of ownership over this artwork. And that will come in the form of copyright. The way we do that is, well, you could visually add a copyright notice to the image itself, but you could also add it in the metadata, text-based information about this artwork. Now, that could be things such as the author's name due to the GPS location, the altitude of where that photograph was taken, right through to the lens and the camera type as well that was used to capture it. Now, the place where we can add that information manually ourselves in Photoshop is under the file menu and then file info. When this appears, we're taken to the basic set of metadata options from the list on the left hand side. And this will be our primary focus for attributing copyright information. I'll click in the author field and I'll enter my own name in here, then head down to copyright status and we have a drop down menu. The default is unknown. Copyrighted means that the owner has a legal right of ownership of the intellectual property. Only the copyright holder has the authorization to use this artwork or this copyright material. Anybody else will need authorization from the author to use it. Whilst public domain refers to creative material that is not protected by copyright or trademark or patent laws, and anybody can use the artwork or that creative material without obtaining permission. From this list, I'll choose copyrighted and then I'm going to paste some text that I prepared earlier, which just denotes a copyright symbol, the name of the organization, and then some very basic address details. And in the copyright info URL, I'll add the organization's web address in there so that any inquiries about usage and permission can easily be dealt with by sending them to that web address to get in touch. Now, assuming that I want to use this information on lots of my images, or maybe all of them for this particular organization going forward, it would be handy to not have to manually add that in there every time I create a new image. So you'll notice at the bottom, we have an option to export this metadata. So if I hover over and click on export, it will then take me to a dialog box where I can save this metadata. Now it will actually guide you to the right area. So under Adobe XMP metadata template, I can change the name in here to an organizational name, something that makes sense, and then go down to the bottom and click on save. Now I could click OK and that would apply the metadata to that file. But if I go back to that export menu, notice we now have a new item listed in there. We've got a Creative Frontiers preset. So rather than clicking OK, I will click Cancel. So it won't add the metadata information in there. But if I go back to File, choose File Info, you'll see that it is again blank. But if I go down to the drop down menu and choose Creative Frontiers, it will provide three options for how I can apply that metadata. Now, in all honesty, the one that you're probably better off choosing is keep original metadata, but append matching properties from template. And the reason why I suggest that is because the top option, clear existing properties and replace with metadata properties will replace all the existing information, such as the creation date and any lens or camera information in there. The other option, keeping original metadata, but replace matching properties will also remove valuable information such as the creation date. But with the bottom option, it will keep all of that critical information as it is and add our copyright information into the file. And then finally, to apply all of that to this file, I'll click OK. So that's how you can add copyright information to your artwork so you can claim ownership. And if anybody does wish to use your artwork, you've given them a very easy way to get in touch and gain permission from you or your organization to reuse it.